Ladies and gentlemen, this is King of Kings World Grand Prix 2014 Heavyweight Tournament in Kishinev, Moldova, live on Eurosport. It's time for second fight of our tournament, KOK World Grand Prix semi-final fight. Blue corner, fighter from Germany, Vladimir Toktasinov Tok. Life can flip in a matter of seconds. One morning you're waking up in the projects. And the next morning you wake up in a 1.2 million dollar car. How did I get here? himself they're running a very successful gym Germany ladies and gentlemen he's opponent to red corner fighter representing Netherlands Fabian Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Grand Prix semi-final fight. Fighting for Blue Corner, 25 years old, 188 centimeter, official weight 105 kilogram, official record 15 wins, 11 by heels, 12 horses, champion of Germany, participant and prize of fighting tournaments, fighter representing Amrani Palace, Germany, Vladimir. Fighting for Red Corner, 27 years old, 193 centimeter. Official weight, 96.9 kilogram. Official record, 18 wins, 4 by kilos, 4 losses. Dutch heavyweight champion, participant and prize time of fighting tournament. Fighter, representing my team, Netherlands, Fabian.
Well, there we go. As our fabulous MC, the man with the shiniest jacket ever, says what it is. One of these two goes into the final. Regis Kuzmenka, our MC. These two heavyweights, the lightest one of the two, Fabian Gondorf from the famous Mike's Gym in Holland. In the red corner, red gloves, white shorts trimmed with black and red. And in the blue corner, representing Germany, Vladimir Tok. Vladimir having the weight advantage, 105 kilograms versus 97, but the Dutch fighter is tall as all the Dutch are and comes from a southpaw stance, lands a big low kick there to Vladimir Tox. Right leg from the start. Both these two also tip for the final, but they cannot be because they're meeting each other. Fabian, to me, is the underdog, but I feel that this guy could cause an upset. Oof. Well, you heard that kick all over Moldova. A nice little tricky technique there, a turning hook kick to the leg. Fabian lands a big knee to the body, but takes a good body shot back. This looks like it's going to be spectacular. Vladimir Tok screams his war cry as he lands the shot. Spinning back fit, spinning that back fist comes from Vladimir to the southpaw. That's the right stance. Fighter from Holland, Fabian. Nice backhand back leg coming there from Fabian, but takes a right body kick. Three three-minute rounds of King of King rules. Vladimir goes, body snatch in there. Finds Fabian's ribs nicely with two hooks. And lands a lead leg on the lead leg of the Dutchman. Ooh, big hard, solid body shot goes in. And a nice body kick comes in back there from Fabian. Solid low kick again from the Dutchman. They're famous for the low kick. Links, left kick, low kick. We can hear that strike around here. The full stadium packed wall to wall with people here in Kisno. Manaj Arena. Both guys really testing each other out with the low kicks. And a great big knee from Fabian, but a big hook in reply from Vladimir. Last few seconds, the hammer goes for 10. Been an interesting first round because both guys have been really sinking in some tough shots right from the bell. What a good round. So one minute rest on the stool for these two formidable looking gladiators who will be looking to get into that final with Stefan Kurlik who's already made his way and taken a place in the final of his four-man world heavyweight grand prix there's the low kicks I was telling you about interestingly Fabian last year should have been fighting my fighter who's with me Carlos de Grasa from Bolton Thai Boxing Club. But unfortunately, didn't make the plane because there was a problem with the email. Planes, eh? Took me three to get to Moldova from Bolton <laughs> yesterday with a big delay, nine hours in Vienna. But I made it to King of Kings here in the Manaj Sport Arena in Kishno. This, ladies and gentlemen, is three three minute rounds scheduled for this heavyweight four man world grand prix. We have a finalist already. One of these two will be meeting that finalist. Stefan Kurlig made it there already. Solid low kicks coming from the Dutchman. Fabian in the right stance. That's the southpaw. 
trying to outsmart Vlad. Vladimir Tok. Just fought already on King of King shows, so not unfamiliar with this King of Kings rules and onset of fighting skills that we have here displayed, kickboxing style. And I tell you what, these guys are certainly not pulling any punches. Everything goes here, full contact at its best. All kicks uh, score, all punches score, spinning back fist. It's a slip, I think, on some water there in its own corner. I'm sorry, in uh, the opponent's corner, and he points to the water. Referee taking time out there. So here we go. The time back on. Remember, schedule for nine minutes of three rounds, three minutes each round. Goes upstairs, Fabian, big high kick. Vladimir Top needs to keep his hands up. Oh, and a nice kick as well. Glances off the side ahead, in with a body kick. And another high kick. Well, the Dutchman is flying in with the kicks. And the knees. And the axe kick goes in again. The Dutchman slips. I don't know what the warning was for that. Touch of gloves back on. Oh, two big body punches come in. An inside low kick. Fabian in there coming off a real good rally of kicks to try and catch the Dutch. Sorry, to catch the judges' eyes. The Dutchman was flying in with us. And Vladimir Top hunts his man down. Beautiful knee to the rib cage of Vladimir there. He picks his shots really well. But Vladimir Tok is in his face the whole time. Trying to push him back. Again, I don't know, his footwork is just going a little bit cross-footed and that's why he's losing his balance. Oh, big kicks go in. Oh, and he sees as he wobbled in. Wow. But this guy, Vladimir Tok, takes another headshot and just keeps coming in. Oh, big body hooks. Vladimir Tok is made of concrete. Jump, scissor knee goes in, right in the Dutchman's corner. Well, it's opened up really well, this. Difficult one to score. It's been going backwards and forwards, making an absolute fantastic heavyweight Grand Prix semi-final. To soften the blow, we have the ring girls in to give us a smile and a wink and a wiggle. Axe kick connects. I don't know what happened there. Oh, look at that. Full shin round the side of the head. What a tough man. Goes in with the jumping knee, gets confidence from that. Bang upstairs, look at that. Wobbled in with that shin. Solid kicking techniques there coming from the Dutchman. Up there, just slipping on some of the water in the corner. Wasn't a knockdown. Well, the chin and the head has been tested of Vladimir Tok from Germany with the kicks. And the body snatching German who's tried to take The engine away, the body with the hooks, now going upstairs. And again, down he goes, he slips. Like I said, I think it must do his footwork. Something that he perhaps needs to work on a little bit in the gym. When he looks back at this fight, he'll see that. But Fabian, like I said, is the underdog in this fight, and for me, it could be the dark horse, but 
Is it the non-stop, relentless coming forward of Vladimir Tok that's going to catch the judges' eyes? Or is it going to be the kicking and the kneeing of this Dutchman, Fabian? Vladimir Tok there, punishing him with the shots, the hooks. Goes downstairs with the low kick. Fabian just moving around the ring, hoping to land those kicks. But again, the body hooks go in and followed with an uppercut. Vladimir Tok has took some... Oh, and another kick goes upstairs. He needs to keep his right hand up. As the Dutchman is exposing that to the side of his head with the southpaw back leg, that's the left leg. Going upstairs. The Dutchman is happy to circle the ring and go slightly backwards. Now that will go against him in the scoring criteria. Nice block there against the low kick. Knee goes in there. Eight minutes of the nine duration has gone. One minute left. Stamina. Grit. Spirit. Everything you've done in the gym now, you will be searching for within your body, your mind, your heart and your soul to survive or win. This is not a survival test, this is a win test. As my trainer, Master Scan, once said, you don't go in the ring to survive, you go in the ring to win. You go to survive, you survive in the desert or you survive in the jungle. This is the ring, you have to win. Unfortunately, there has to be a winner and a runner-up, unless there is a draw, which is a joint win. But there cannot be that in a Grand Prix. The judges will have to make a decision, unless it goes an extra round. And then, even then, the same applies. Now, the Dutchman's got his hand up. Vladimir goes to his corner, leans in. Will it be the kicks that do it? Will it be Vladimir's persistent, consistent forward attacking play a part in this scoring? Boom, the kicks go in, the punches go in, the body hooks, the body snatcher. Goes again with a follow-up to the head. The jumping knee, the flying Dutchman. Raises his hands there at the end of this, he thinks he's got it. What do you think back at home? I think possibly blue corner or an extra round. The Dutchman's kicks for me did it, but it just went too much backwards and moving round. I just feel, I don't know, the Dutchman is confident. In comes the man with the fabulous suit jacket, the effervescent, the shining, the wonderful Regis Cosmentus. Ladies and gentlemen, official decision. By points, 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. The winner is... And to KOK World Grand Prix Final Fight goes... Vladimir Top, I said blue or draw. Well, the Dutch don't look happy. But when they look back on it, they might be able to see that the backward movement.